What's up everybody and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. I did the clapping intro once again. I got you guys. I got you. And for all you who are brand new, hello and welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist and the reason why we do these videos is so that way we can take the technique from drummers who are way better than us. Learn it for ourselves so that way we can ourselves become better musicians. And we've got a absolute unit today. This dude is a beast, and he's known for playing some of the most beastly drum parts ever. His power is known throughout the world. He plays with a band that is known for some absolutely, you know, sick riffage, world-renowned band, and for a good reason. The dude's an absolute unit, and the band is an absolute unit. Even though there are no longer any original members left in the band, still, what a phenomenal dude this is. Today, we're going to be checking out Eloy Casagrande. Eloy Casagrande is a drummer. I believe he's South American. American. Maybe he's Spanish. I'm not 100% certain, but he plays currently for Sepultura, which is from South America. They're like a thrash groove metal band. They've kind of changed genres a little bit as they went along, but you know, that's kind of normal for most bands. They change their sound as they go. We're going to be checking out a playthrough he did of Manipulation of Tragedy by Sepultura. What an absolutely sick playthrough this is going to be. I have nothing but faith that he's going to nail it because not only is this man known for some insane power and some insane technique or anything like that, but just the amount of energy that he puts off as well. He looks looks like that he just beats the crap out of his kit and just doesn't care. He's an absolute monster. So let's go ahead and let's check this playthrough out that he did. I have a feeling that this is going to be absolutely sick and that you guys are going to enjoy that. I might pause occasionally throughout the video just because, you know, really? Really? Yep. Where are you going? Okay, I was about to say, because after I finish filming these two videos, I'm abducting you and we're going to grandma's to say hello. Okay. I might stop it occasionally throughout the video just to point out some things about his power and whatnot, but we're going to try and do this as uninterrupted as possible. So let's check out what Eli Casagrande has to offer us. All right. Well, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's watch this playthrough of Manipulation of Tragedy by Sepultura. See, this is when he was young, by the way. This is a playthrough from two years ago. He looks entirely different now. But that technique has not changed. If anything, it's gotten better. Look at that. He's doing the ghost nose, too. I mean, obviously, this man works out. I mean, he's just beating the crap out of this kit, dude. I don't know if you guys really understand. He's like, he's actually putting power into those drums, dude. And he's doing all sorts of technical stuff, too. Very good job of keeping that backbeat, though, down on the two and the four. Very good swivel technique on that foot, though, too. He's not doing it with the other one, which I find to be a little funny. It is full leg motion. That's because this is a very power-centric drummer. If you haven't watched any of his videos, all of them, he's, he just beats the crap out of this kid, dude. Double ride setup. Very good claves that he's doing as well. Just listen to this dude. He's an insanely technical drummer, and this is the thing. When everyone points out technical drummers, they think of like, oh, Austin Archie, or, you know, like some random tech death drummer or something like that. No, this guy's like, just look at him. He's just ready to go to town beating the crap out of his kit. And he's doing stuff that, like, patterns that no normal drummer would think of. Like, look at him right there. Look at him using that drum right there. Yeah, dude, this is phenomenal. Just look at this dude, come on. How can you not look at this dude and think, this this guy's killing it? Just look at the amount of force that he's putting into his drum kit. Oh, 
Like, I would go to a show just to watch this guy play drums. Not even really for the rest of the band, honestly, just to watch this guy play drums. And that's not even to talk crap on Sepultura. I mean, this they're an excellent band. But, like, this dude's a unit. He is a unit. I mean, come on, bro. This guy's power is unbelievable. Mm. What a tasty fill. Yes. That is rimshot blast beats. That's what I want to hear from this guy. Come on, bro. Excellent, dude. Some of the most excellent technique I ever seen. And I'm saying that 100% honestly. That is... Mm. So let's talk about freaking Eloy Casa freaking Grande. Oh my gosh! First of all, power. Second of all, power. Third of all, power. Even just listening to the last little blast beat part, he's literally just going... And just dot, 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 like he's just putting his all into it and that's insane and that's something that you guys should take note of especially for the drummers out there that are just starting to play live shows and all that and they're a little bit scared that like oh i don't want to mess up so i'm just gonna stick to you know just like focusing on the groove and all that no 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 listen listen energy is more important than anything you don't want to be a boring drummer yeah like, yeah i can go out on stage and i can sit there and play and if i'm just going Who's gonna wanna watch the drummer play that? But if I'm sitting there going like. And vibing out and stuff like that, people like to see that because they're seeing that you're also being moved by the music that you're making and you put your passion and energy into that. And so why are they gonna wanna watch a guy who's just sitting there like a robot just playing the whole time, emotionless? They're not gonna want to. They're gonna wanna watch the guy who's put his heart and soul into it and is expressing his heart and soul while he's playing. That's the way to go. He didn't look tense at all. He looks like he was giving a lot of power while staying loose at the same time, which is exceptional. There's not a lot of guys that can put out that power output continually and that consistently while also staying loose. It's just an exceptionally hard thing to be able to accomplish both at one time, especially at the speed and technicality that he's doing things. But for some freaking reason, he's just managed to do so. And the whole time keeping loose. If you look at his technique, he's using a lot of wrist technique. He's not really using fingers or anything like that. He's using a lot of full leg motion. And all of it's very power based. That's because his entire focus as a drummer is putting out power, putting out energy, being expressive. Because at the end of the day, you have multiple ways that you can express yourself as a drummer. You can express yourself through your speed, through your technicality, through your writing style and whatnot. Or you can express yourself through your power through your energy and through just the amount of sheer aggression that you're putting into the drums. And I guarantee you, just if you were to take one drummer, right, have them play along to a Sepultura track and they're just doing the minimum they can in order to get the track down, right? An energyless performance like that, you'll hear a difference because even though on the record, yeah, he's playing it note for note, he's not really playing the same feeling. Now, if you were to take the same performance, right, and then have Eloy play that, you're going to hear and feel that vibe a whole lot more than you're going to feel the emotionless performance. Because sure, the emotionless performance, you are hearing it note for note. And yes, while technically on paper, it all looks correct and it's all charted out correctly, you don't get that same feeling. Putting that energy and aggression into the drumming is going to help to elevate that performance because you can feel the power that's coming through that drums. Because you got to remember, as a percussion instrument, drums helps to keep people moving. It helps to get the crowd going and stuff like that. It involves some of our most primal instincts. Being able to channel that energy and aggression through the drums to help get people moving and all that and ignite that primal you know, instinct and whatnot that comes with hearing percussion. Bro, 
it's going to do magic at your shows. So just remember, when you play, play with your heart, play with your soul. Do stuff that this guy does. This guy is definitely giving everything 100% and he's keeping loose and powerful while doing it. Don't be one of those guys that's at the show just kind of just going along with the motions and just trying to get everything note for note on paper so it looks all good. Put some energy into it. If you make a mistake every so often, that's okay. The point being, everyone's going to look at your performance and go, wow, that drummer is absolutely sick. I love that guy. It's all about the vibe because honestly, that's going to speak a whole lot more than if you were to play it note for note, but emotionlessly. What an absolutely phenomenal job by Eloy. That is... Mm. Mm, such a sick, sick, sick playthrough. I love the energy that he gives off. But with all that being said, y'all, that's going to be the end of this video. So thanks for tuning in and stopping by. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and share your thoughts down below what you thought of Eloy's cover. Don't forget as well to check out my channel, all the videos that we have over there. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this one. So thanks for tuning in and stopping by. It's great to have y'all here, and hopefully I'll see y'all in the next one. So cheers, and have a great rest of your night.